Happy Election Day to those who are going out and voting. I'm not voting. I told God I don't really care who wins this election because I've spent 44 years living in this country oppressed. And there have been a lot of people who are oppressed. And we have sat here in a bondage, a literal bondage. And I'm not here to complain or anything. I just want to talk to you really briefly. As you see, I didn't do nothing to my hair today because look, it's all broken out. My hair is all broken out. You see how I look? This is me without any makeup on. I work out on a faithful basis every day, just consistently running and working out, eating healthy, doing everything I can to maintain my weight. And I asked God, I says, why do you have me carrying the burdens of all these people? Because I look like this every day. I have to work out just to still stay overweight. And there are people who have been putting their burdens on me. Look all this fat. The more I work out, the more fat they put upon me. He has me literally sitting here losing weight for a moment. Who's been putting their burdens on me for years? Many people have put their burdens on me. And I was, I was running down the street and barely run because they've taken all my stamina and endurance out of me, all my muscle and everything. I said, well, why do I have to keep doing this so this woman can sit here and take pictures looking like this? She swapped everything. They swapped my beauty, my bone structure, my body type, everything. My hair, my hair don't even grow anymore. I says, Lord, why are you making me carry the burdens of these people? And it was a scripture that came to me, to whom much is given, much is required. And I take this as, I've heard this scripture before. And as you see my hair right now, I don't, I don't have any hair. My hair texture has changed and destroyed my hair, the color of it. I'm just putting all this here. And it says, to whom much is given, much is required. And it says, Lord, I don't have anything. They took everything out of me, meaning God allowed them to take everything because he put a lot inside of me. He put a lot inside his people. But as I showed him, I have nothing. They took all my knowledge out of me. They took all my beauty from me. They called me ugly. Now I am ugly. Look at me. My eyebrows are going off my face. Teeth rotted out. The bags and dark circles on my eyes because they felt ugly. He let them take everything from me. He gave me beauty, athleticism, knowledge, talents, everything. Physical, physical fitness. But that has been all taken from me as you see now. I, I, I look like I don't even work out. I look like I don't even exercise. But I work out faithfully. But I have to walk around looking like this because he let them put their burdens upon me. So I says, Lord, if your scripture says to whom much is given, much is required. What exactly does that mean? Because we don't have anything anymore. And I says that fear that people keep taking from me. And they're supposed to be helping me. Now I'm sitting here, like I said, I don't have a place. I really don't have my own home. I have nothing. At 44 years old, they've held me back and took and taken everything from me. The Lord let me know that everybody has stolen everything out of me. And you get on here. And when I put up, when I send out messages and talk like this, people are always talking about my physical appearance. I don't care how I look anymore. Because when I tried to invest in my beauty and, and take care of myself and look presentable, everybody destroyed me. So I'm just showing the, the results of what you all have done. And I asked God, I says, I don't have anything. I have no money. I'm sleeping on an air mattress. I don't have my own home. Mm -hmm. At 44 years old, he let everybody take everything from me and my mother. We have our beauty stolen from us. We never owned a home, never had any assets or any land. But you have people running around here making six figures, millions of dollars, billions of dollars. They're not giving us a thing. And so I said, I don't care who wins this election because we sat here in this country and have not been allowed to thrive because there have been people who cast their burdens upon us. And you've allowed them literally. There have been people using sorcery and witchcraft and holding other people back, oppressing them. And I've been passing this stuff around. I'm going to continue to keep telling about what was done to me and my family because there has been injustice done to us and we have not got a resolution for it. But you're letting people put their burdens upon us. And now these people have taken everything out of us. They should be required to carry their, our burdens. Now, I'm sitting here, like I said, I have to get up every day and walk, run for miles, run out here, run for an hour, two hours just to keep maintaining the, the, the same shape that I've always been at. While other people are out here losing 100, 100 pounds, losing weight, getting in shape off of me. They put their burdens on me and make me lose weight for them. Well, I'm not supposed to carry nobody burdens now. You all took it. You're supposed to carry the burdens. You know God's will. And, and it says in that word, but those who know his will and you know to do it and you don't do it, you're supposed to be beaten with many lashes. So that's what I'm asking now. I don't really care. You can laugh at me and say how I look, but you, you can go back to the old pictures of how I look. I know how I truly look. While these people are sitting here taking pictures and looking good and feeling good about themselves, boosting up their confidence with my stuff. But now that you have it, you're supposed to be required to carry everything now. If anything, they're supposed to be helping us. Like I said, we don't have any land. We have no money. We don't even have a home to sleep. We don't have a place to stay. We're living in one bed. You want to know how me and my children live? You want to see how we're living? Because I, 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 maybe I should show you how we live. Because we're sleeping on three air mattresses. You all have your money, you have your jobs, you have your businesses. God lets you take it all. Even my hair texture took that. Maybe my hair was never this coarse. It was never dark. None of this. They took it so you can feel happy about yourself. But like I said, those who did not do what they're supposed to have done, because we're not required to carry all these words. Like I said, we don't have any resources. We don't have a church. We don't have any money. We didn't, we didn't, get, we didn't go to school and get our education because when we tried to do that, they blocked it and took everything out of us. They stopped everything. So you got it. You're supposed to be required to carry these burdens and help now. I don't, I, I, like I said, I'm not embarrassed. Look at me. That's none of me. 
They're transferring their fat on me every day so they can walk around and take pictures and look small without having to do a thing. But I'm sitting here practically, what, barely uh, eating healthy, eating one meal, barely eating hardly anything, running and exercising every day to still be fat and overweight and obese. But I had to carry their burden so they could sustain their health. But who's sustaining me? My knees are all messed up. I walk around like I have arthritis. I have no muscle tone in my body. I have no money to my name. I have no assets. Like I said, they hold on to my daughter's check, her SSI check. Won't even give her that. We, we're living on public assistance, still don't have anything. They took everything from us. You took everything. But there's no one sitting here helping us. Now that you got your beauty off of us, you got your, your, your physical fitness off of us, you got your knowledge and your degrees off of us by taking everything literally out of our brains that we, we sat here and read everything. I sat here literally trying to study to better myself. And every, t every time I read it, it's taken right out of my knowledge. And the Lord was letting me know, oh, they're taking the knowledge out of you because they don't want to read a book or they're, they're, they're too slothful and lazy to do anything. And they're taking my knowledge and waiting for me to read. And as soon as I gain the information, they strip it right out of me so they can use it for themselves. And you tell me that's just, you're making me labor, but I'm not receiving the fruits of my labor. You're making me carry your burdens, but you're receiving the benefits of all of it. So that's why I said, I don't really care who wins this election. I'll continue to pray for God's people, that God will sustain his people no matter who wins. But I want God to be in control because, like I said, there's a lot of wicked people who have been getting away with doing evil stuff. And there has not been justice. I just want justice and I want God to honor his word and begin to stand up. Because there are people who have been casting their burdens upon us for years and we don't have anything left. You devoured us. He made me carry. He allowed me to carry your burdens for years as I had everything. He put everything inside of the Egyptians and in my ancestry. But you're, you're sitting here, you took everything out of us. You were jealous and you coveted it. Like it said, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet what belongs to thy neighbor, but you stole it. You coveted everything of ours. You got it now. You should be required to carry the burdens. Many of you are supposed to be helping us now, but you're not doing it. You're not helping the people you're supposed to be helping. Like I said, there's people living out here on the streets. People have billions of dollars and have acquired and accumulated so many assets, but there's still people out here with nothing and you're not sharing. You should be required to help those. By that flawed logic, you took all from me and you took everything and I was required to share with you because I had everything. Well, look at my hair. Like I told God, my hair don't even grow anymore. They cursed my hair and destroyed it and took everything out of it. But there's women who I see tons of beautiful black women with hair down to their waist. Are you required to share your hair with me? Would that, would that be fair for God to take half your hair and give it to me and your hair come down to your shoulders? Because that's equivalent to what he did to me for you all. He took everything for me to give it to you. Even though I was in shape, even though I was highly intelligent, I sit here now with barely a functioning brain. I sit here now carrying everybody else's fat around, even though I work out every day. I have to walk around looking embarrassed and shamed, being overweight and obese with my health messed up. I have to walk around here, my knees all messed up because they've got old people buying themselves to me, buying their grandparents and their parents to me so they can have their health off of me. I have to work out every day to lose weight for people who sit here on their behinds and eat all day because they won't go to God and get help for their curses, and their generational curses and gluttoning spirits. But you want to transfer your burdens upon us and expect us to carry you. But you're not carrying us. When you get your stuff, now that you have it and you look good and you're posting pictures, you got your businesses and your degrees and your education. What are you doing to help anybody else? What are you doing to carry the burdens? Like I said, God showed me he he, he required much of me. Yeah, he did. To whom much is given, much is required. I have to do it. I have to do what he tells me to do. I wrote a fitness book and everybody jumped on the bandwagon and threw all their burdens upon me. But those who knew better, those who know you have a will, that God is calling you to do something. Are you doing it what God tell you to do? Are you doing it? Because he's going to come back and he's going to be beating you with many lashes. Yeah, look at me now. You can say I'm messed up. I am. But that's equivalent to what you all did. You can call me ugly now because he let all these ugly women who walked around who didn't like themselves, who couldn't take, take, take it how dark they were, they didn't like their own heritage that they say they're so proud of. And they took everything from me and my children, took everything from us and cast their burdens upon us. Yeah, I have to sit here and reread chapters every day and sit here and study for hours, even though I had to type a brain that I can catch on just like that and still barely can pass. That's how you've put me to that level. And yes, I'm a little bit disgusted that God has allowed this for me. But he allowed this here. That's why I said, I don't care who wins this election because we have lived like we're in a third world country. I asked God, I said, what was the purpose of me being born here in America? Because I'm not free. I live like someone, I, I've been better off in a third world country somewhere. Because even though I had ac access to all this stuff, I never had a chance to thrive or have anything in life. And a lot of people have been sacrificed so other people can thrive because they're greedy. There's enough in this country, enough resource for everyone to, to, to have and to, to be sufficient. But they're greedy people who want to take everything and hoard it for themselves. And you have oppressed God's children. And so this is what I'm saying. So go out there. If you do choose to vote, I, act, I hope that you follow the Holy Spirit and still pray that God will be in control and he will have justice.